Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to walk you through company's use of an aging of receivables schedule. So what exactly is an aging of receivables schedule? Well, it starts off with understanding the idea of estimating your bad debts using the allowance method, the allowance for doubtful accounts method. Um, when you estimate your bad debts using an allowance method, what you're essentially doing is saying some portion of your receivable, some percent of your receivable, you don't think you're going to collect. It's going to be a bad, what we call a bad debt. It's not going to get paid. And when you typically learn this for the first time, um, you basically take a full AR balance, you multiply it times some percentage, and you say, here's the portion we don't think we're going to get. And that becomes the allowance for doubtful accounts that you need to have. An aging schedule simply refines that process further. So an aging schedule is a variation of the allowance method for accounting for, accounting for, for bad debts. What the aging schedule does is instead of taking all of your AR and multiplying it by a flat percentage and saying that's the bad debts, it divides your AR into multiple buckets. Now, these buckets here are just for example purposes. Every company can use its own set of buckets, but essentially the buckets represent the age of the receivables. How old are those receivables? Which in the example I have here, zero days, meaning they aren't late yet, okay? Uh, notice here in my header, number of days past due. So zero means it's a receivable, customers owe us, but customers still have time to pay before they're even late. Then notice my next bucket, 1 to 60 days late, next bucket, 61 to 120, 121 to 180, and then finally I just top it out at greater than 180, regardless of how much greater. By doing this, what I can do is I can figure out, hey, um, based on how old a receivable is, the risk of it not being paid is going to change. Specifically, if something is not yet due, chances are it hasn't been paid yet because, well, it's just not due yet. And so I have a very low risk of my customers not paying me. And notice down here to this bucket, I have assigned a 1% assumption of uncollectability. Notice I have over here basis for uncollectible estimation. However, once something goes past due, the risk of uncollectability goes up. So in my one to 60 bucket, I'm gonna say 3% of that probably won't get collected. As it gets higher, 10%, higher more, 25%. Greater than 180 days, boy, that's, that's half a year right there that somebody hasn't paid me past due. Now, I'm gonna assume most of that, or in this case, 75%, isn't going to get paid, okay? This is the idea of an aging schedule. Not a flat rate for all your AR, but rather a risk-based rate where the risk is determined by how past due the AR is. So the way this table set up, just to lay it all out for you, is I have a list of my various accounts. So these are my customers, right? And then here's how much they owe me divided up by the buckets. And here are my total AR right here of 189,000. So normally, in a simplified matter, I would take that 189, I'd multiply it times some percentage, and I would call that the, the allowance for, for doubtful accounts that I need, or, or the expected bad debts. But instead, what I do is I take this 66,000 in the zero day bucket and I multiply it times 1%. I take the 30,000 that's tallied up in the one to 60 day bucket, multiply it times 3%, and I rinse and repeat all the way across. And essentially what that does is give me the allowance for doubtful accounts that I need by age group, by bucket. And then of course, I simply add all of those together and that tells me the total allowance for doubtful accounts that I need. This is basically doing a percent of receivables estimation to calculate your bad debts. It's just using a percent of receivables that's risk adjusted by the age of the receivable to come out with the, with the um, end, end receivable, um, end allowance balance that you need. All right, that is it for an aging of receivable schedule. I hope you found this helpful and I hope you join me for another video.